Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to do a video on getting started with the DJI Phantom 3 and the DJI Inspire 1. There's a lot of similarities between the two, a lot of differences, but we're going to put them all together for you in one quick video here to show how to basically get them out of the box and get them ready to fly. Then we'll do an advanced IMU calibration and then a compass calibration. Later on, we'll do a video on how to do all the camera settings and get that all set up for your best results. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the Phantom 3. The remote should be all covered in plastic, so you'll have to remove all this plastic in order for everything to work properly. This is, of course, one of our custom kits here at Multicopter Warehouse. We'll remove the Phantom 3, and on the back, you'll notice there's this remove before flight foam. So we're going to want to remove that and discard that. And on the front, we have this protective cover. So we'll want to remove that. Next, we're going to remove the gimbal guard. And now she's going to be ready to do an advanced IMU calibration and then a compass calibration. So we're going to connect our tablet to our remote control, and then go through the DJI Pilot app and start those calibrations. Next, we're gonna take a look at setting up the Inspire 1 before we get to those calibrations because it's the same thing for both of them. Here we have our DJI Inspire 1 right out of the box. It's in travel mode, so the arms are pretty much straight out. And the different things that we're gonna need are gonna be our Controller, if you have a dual controller, you'll want to make sure that it's the master. Our propellers, our camera gimbal, our cable, our USB, and our mobile device. In this case, I'm using an NVIDIA Shield. So this is the pieces that we're going to need to get this thing up and going. First off, you should make sure that you've got a good charge on your remote control and a good charge on your Inspire just to make things go a little smoother. Now, first off, we're going to turn on our remote, which is a tap, release, and then hold. Same thing with the smart battery on the Inspire. Tap, and then hold. Now we're going to wait for these to turn on, kind of come up and initialize a little bit. You'll hear the fan kick on for the GPS inside the copter, and you know that it's ready to go. Then we can take it out of travel mode and put it into landing mode. Now, if you missed that, it's on the remote control. You have the landing gear switch. We toggle it four times. Back into travel mode. This needs to be done on a hard surface. If you do this on carpet or on grass, it probably won't work correctly. So again, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and power it down. And we're going to install the camera. So we're going to take off the guard that's on the front and the cover that's on the top of the gimbal. And we have a white line on the front of the camera. And we have a white line on the front of the camera or the connector port. Match those up, rotate that ring around and our camera is ready to go. We can get our tablet hooked up by installing our USB cable, making sure our antennas are in a good position, mounting our tablet, and plugging it in. Now at this point, we're going to do an IMU calibration and then a compass calibration. So now that we've got them out of the box, we've got all the little pieces and parts put together, now it's time to do an advanced IMU calibration. We want to make sure that our copter is on a perfectly level surface, away from any metal, away from any electronics, kind of out in the middle of the room on top of a cardboard box would be ideal. Uh, we're going to do it here on the counter just to demonstrate how it works. So we're going to start up our transmitter, we'll start up our copter, and we'll launch the DJI Pilot app. 
Now, once we're in the app, we'll go to the camera. And we'll go to our sensors, click on sensors, and there's IMU calibration. So we're going to just go ahead and click on that and get that started. Now we'll see a progress bar as this goes across so we see where we're at and how long it's going to take. Now, generally speaking, this process is going to take about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing and we'll come back when it's finished. Well, now that the IMU calibration is done, we're ready to move to the next step. And we want to do this IMU calibration right out of the box, and we also want to do it anytime we do a firmware upgrade. Now, sometimes if it detects that the readings are off, it may ask you to do an IMU calibration and may not let you fly until you do one. So keep an eye on that and make sure that that calibration is always okay. So next, we need to do a compass calibration. Again, we're going to go into our app, we're going to click on the colored bar there at the top, and we see our compass, and it says calibrate. I'm just going to tap on that and click OK. And what we'll see is the yellow lights have, or the lights on the back have turned yellow, telling us it's in calibration mode. Now, all we do is just rotate it around its axis 360 degrees until we see those lights turn green. Now we point nose down, so the camera's facing the ground, and we rotate 360 degrees. Now different people have different ways of doing this. This is the way I recommend doing it. And just rotate it around until you see those rear lights flash double green. Now this process is the same for the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. So regardless of which aircraft you have, you're going to do that same IMU calibration and you're going to do the same compass calibration. Now that we've done all of our calibrations, we're ready to go fly. Last step is going to be to install the propellers. On the Phantom 3, we have two different props. We have ones with a black tip and ones with a silver tip, which match the silver threads and the black threads. The silver go on clockwise the black ones go on counterclockwise. We'll just get these spun on here real quick. Now that's not going to be good enough. We want to make sure that we snug these down a little bit. Definitely don't want these coming off in midair. Next, we're going to do the Inspire 1 and each of our props is going to go on like putting on the cap of a prescription bottle. We're going to push them on and turn and then make sure that they're locked in place. So we'll just give it a little twist. I hold the prop and turn the motor just to make sure that they're not going to come off. Do that on all four. And in just a few seconds, all those props are installed on the Inspire 1. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick getting started video and that it's showing you how to make sure that your aircraft is safe to go. Now the IMU calibration, make sure you do that right out of the box and any time that you do a firmware update. The compass calibration should be done any time you change flying locations. So. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.